the life cycle what is the life cycle of a star? There are two paths a star can take. A small path, which starts off as an average star, and a bigger path, which starts off as a massive star. The first step of the star is a nebula. A nebula is a cloud of gas and dust. When a star explodes, the force from that star compacts the nebula into an average star. If the nebula is bigger, the star will be bigger, turning into a massive star. If the star is average, it will turn into a red giant. If it is a massive star, it will take a different path, turning into a red supergiant. They form the same way. The only difference is the size. When a star runs out of its fuel, which is hydrogen, in the inside of the star, hydrogen atoms are mixed with helium atoms, turning hydrogen into helium. Once all the hydrogen is helium, the red giant or the red supergiant is formed. These next sides are all different ways that a star can die. A planetary nebula is formed when a shell of gas expands around a red giant that's ejecting its outer clouds of luminous gas. That was a supernova. Neutron stars are formed when large stars run out of fuel and collapse. When a large star runs out of its fuel and it can no longer support its heavy weight, it collapses into a black hole. After a red giant is done fusing helium, the star will collapse into a white dwarf. The end. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Showbush.